the morning after the day before. How many did we have? A hundred and... what is that? hundred and twenty-seven? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken me that long to plant this stuff out. Good morning. Welcome to, or welcome back, to the Jack Sparrow Show. It has been a very slow start to Monday morning so far for me. Not for mum. Mum's been manically packing orders. We ended up with... Let me just be with, be with. This is my life, every time I try and work. Yesterday we ended up with 128 orders, which was insane. So she's starting to work through them. I am... You can't see. But I am ordering some stock because we need boxes and ingredients and stuff um, and I'm just doing some other admin bits. I prepped my food. <laughs> oh look what else arrived. I never thought I would get so excited about a pencil case. But it's one that's got like an elastic so you put it over your book cover. And it means that when I'm doing like my annotating and my whatever else I can do that. labels and stuff there. I am also working to, I've had one of these before and I was debating about whether, I couldn't decide if I liked it or not, but I ordered another productivity method, which is by Grace Beverly, who is like my, one of my ultimate entrepreneurial inspirations. And I decided to get the business planner. So this one has, it's a bit chunkier than the other normal planner. So typically the other planner, let me show you. At the beginning, you've got like your, how to use section. Um, but then, kind of journal on a section about you and the business which I'm going to do for my skincare business yearly planning which is like goals and objectives and then it breaks it down into months and then weeks so weekly goals a kind of weekly spread which I'm quite looking forward to using naturally giving me a better overview and then these are the daily ones so you've got your schedule down the side you've got she breaks it down into quick ticks which are less than five minutes um tasks which are five to thirty minutes and then projects and then you put your non-negotiable section and then towards the back again there's bits i don't know if i'm gonna use so you've got like your a gantt chart for a project um, things like an invoice tracker, meeting notes, problems for future me, <laughs> new project ideas, brain dump, which I feel like it's a bit it's a bit too structured for me for a brain dump. For when I do a brain dump, I literally just like to have like a page, preferably one of those like the little grid pages. Um, but, so this is today's PT clients today. Monday's quite PT centric. And then I'm just, as I say, I'm just doing kind of be like ad mini bits at the moment. Um, oh, and look what else arrived. Oh, I don't know if you remember from, well, if you've watched my last vlog, the trauma, the trauma of finishing a Never by Jessa Hastings. And literally the same day, Magnolia Parks arrived. And I have decided, I don't know if I'm emotionally ready to start it yet, so I'm not going to. So I've got a Magnolia Parks and the original, this is the UK cover, which I preferred. And 
Daisy hates a lot of books news. And then what else did I get whilst we're here? Yet another journal. When am I going to do this? I don't know. But this one is 30 steps to finding yourself an interactive journey to self-discovery. I like the idea of this. This journal will be your guide to understanding and empowering the most important person in your life, you. Oh, and then we've got one more thing. I'm going to open up my... If you didn't know, these are made of potato starch and are completely biodegradable and you can either put them in your bin or run them under water. We actually use them in our packaging too. Does anyone else's cat do this? Jack always likes to sit with his little feet like pressed right up against whether it's my laptop or a notepad or something. He just jams them in there. <laughs> How beautiful is this? So I order from Om Crystal Beans. So her name is Shruti, but her business is Om Crystal. Just take take my word for it. That's that's the business there. <laughs> she is on Etsy. Can't remember what this one is. <laughs> and this is the main. Oh no, Kunzite. Kunzite. A very high vibrational crystal, rare crystal that awakens the heart chakra and aligns with the throat and third eye. Clears emotional debris, healing heartache, especially carry forward from other lives. Soothing gentle energy calms the emotions and panic attacks. Crystal of unconditional love. Mm. Protective of copyright. Wait till you see this. So you know how I have an obsession with dragons? recently did a story sale and this came up on it. <gasps> Look at that. It's a proper weighty. It's like a paper weight. What do you think? Hey, it's Tuesday, it is five past eight and it's been a bit of a roller coaster of a day. Um, this would have been Joe's 36th birthday. Um, if you don't know, I keep forgetting that I keep talking about Joe and then I think some people might either be watching this vlog for the first time or you might have like only have joined like the last wee while or whatever but um so joe was as one of my i'm going to keep saying as because i don't think she'd be very happy if i spoke about her in the past tense to be honest and my battery's running out be right back <laughs> i'm back uh yeah as i was saying um joe was like when i'm well my oldest friend actually we met when we we became friends when we were at nursery and um, for the last, I think it's two years, um, she had been battling, as it turns out, one of the rarest forms of um, cancer because she couldn't do things by half so I always used to say that to her, she couldn't just do it, take the easy route with anything <laughs> um, and she unfortunately passed away last August and as I say it should have been her um, her birthday, her birthday today, and you know how people like complain about getting older or reaching certain milestones, like they think, oh my god, I'm turning 30, I'm turning 40. That is such a privilege and I hope that every year that I get older, I'm just grateful that I'm here. But anyway, um, so that was today and um, 
Also, I had my Aunt Anne's funeral. So I was out the house from about half nine until about three. And then I had a dentist appointment. And this was the first time I'd been at the dentist since before COVID. Um, and the dentist was like, yes, I've only met you once when you came and joined us. Because I'd moved dentists. Um, and he's lovely. Uh, and I don't know if you remember me telling you about I've got a filling, like my tooth had broken and the filling had come out. Apparently, because he did x-rays, um, it shows that there's an infection in the bottom of the root. And he was going to be, you're not experiencing any pain or anything like that. And it basically has potential to grow into an abscess. Great. So my options are, if I want to keep the tooth root canal treatment, which I've, I've actually had before on... I think it's the other side. Or get it taken out, which freaks me out. The thought, I don't I don't know what it is. I've only ever had one tooth taken out and I was wee and it was one of my baby teeth. And my first kind of worry is that, because my mum actually, her top teeth, she got a molar taken out and her top teeth, of the ho all of her teeth shifted round. So her her two front teeth like aren't at the front they're actually all way to one side so she, she looks like she's got one main tooth if you get what I mean <laughs> but he said that the only ones that were likely to move would be the molars behind it they would maybe come forward slightly so it wouldn't so there's that potential and then I was like right okay so is that a straightforward procedure and he was like well you've got quite a long route so potentially when I try and take it out it could break off and then what we would need to do is we would need to send you to a specialist and they would need to like just you know do rummage and make sure they get it all out so it doesn't get infected then he was like because it's not sore right now um what we'll do is we'll get your book back in because oh and I've also got to get four fillings and I was like bloody hell well I thought my teeth were all right but apparently not and then he confused me because he was like, your teeth are in really good health and your gums are in really good health, but you need four fillings. <laughs> so they're all like, it's all like molars. And he said to me, because eh, on the NHS you get like the, sorry, I don't know why I'm showing you my mouth. Obviously on the NHS you just get the grey or the silver ones. And he was like, if you want the white ones, that'll be extra. And I'm like, well, I've already got grey ones, so I might as well just go with the grey. And it's not like generally... People are looking in my mouth to see my molars if it was like front ones and obviously that would be different. So that was that. And oh, and wait for it, my appointment isn't till October the 8th when he's going to start, I think he's going to start on some of the fillings that I need at the back. Um, But that's peak week for me. Um, I'm meant to be competing on the 12th, so there'll be no extractions or any sort of that happening that week. I can guarantee that. And then I'm booked in, like, it feels like every two weeks after that until November. <laughs> the, the receptionist was like, you'll be sick of seeing us. And I was like, correct. I literally don't see you for years and years and years. And then I'm in and I'm getting all this done. Um, so take care of your teeth, folks. But after that, I I had quite a lot of steps to do. So I went into a little local, like, um, corner shop. And I got myself a Monster. And then I went on a massive big ad part. Tesco. So I went on a massive big like loop, like, basically round the town it felt like, eh, all the way back to the car. Um, and then I come home and I was just, I've, like Lee's FaceTime me a wee back there because he's, he's kind of hanging about at his work waiting on stuff. And I was saying I'm going to have to take the hat in terms of Meg telling me off because I'm not, I was meant to do my car door today and I've not done it and I'm not going back out like, I've still got things that I want to do right now and I just to basically so if she wants to tell me off then so be it <laughs> but um i just thought i would check in because i can't remember did i even did i speak to you yesterday the the i just i can't believe like mum powered through quite a lot of orders from the sale but there's 80 outstanding and i need to like make product and um I don't know if I said, but mum and dad are actually going away this week. For, well, it's Sunday to, no, Thursday to Sunday. That'll be interesting. And tomorrow I've got, so I'm going to go, I've got 35 minutes of car to do because it's a pool day. So I'm going to go first thing, 
then I've got my counselling and I asked her, usually it's 10 to about half 11, I asked her just if we could finish at 11 because then I was meant to have a PT this afternoon but I asked her, I just couldn't, like, I didn't want the pressure of having to leave whenever, I'm, anyway, anyway, I've got her tomorrow at half 11, then whilst I'm at the gym I'm going to train, do my pool session, then I need to dash back because I've got another call, I can't remember what he said that we're going to be covering in this call, but I've got a call with the guy Ryan, who did like my customer interviews last week. I think we're going to kind of create maybe some sort of plan of action or something, I can't remember <laughs> what he said. But that's till 2 to half 3. Then obviously I need to start like making the products and stuff. I did think about doing it tonight, but I just, as I say, I'm, I'm like, I'm really not in the headspace and I just want to, like, I just want to not do that. <laughs> so I am, um, see, I'm getting distracted. I'm looking at blind emails. I've also, also, I dug out a little um, tripod that I've got you on. I don't know what it would like to. So I've got two tripods. One of them is the Gorilla one that you can like obviously wrap around things, but it's a bit more difficult when you're I don't know what this one's like when I want to. Well. <laughs> I think this maybe this one will be better. And then I can grip you. Um God sorry, I'm just all over the place. Right, I'm gonna go now and I need to do my check-in spreadsheet. I need to have a shower. <laughs> I need my bed. I do definitely need my bed. I, like, I didn't get to sleep till... What was I even doing last night? I didn't get to sleep till the back of midnight. And then I was paranoid about sleeping in because of... I was um, giving out the... Do you call it an order of service? I, I was giving them out, so I was paranoid. And I was actually there first out of my whole entire family. That never happens. There was me running about like a headless chicken and I got there first. <laughs> anyway, bye for now. <laughs> I decided that this is going to be part of my new morning routine. And it's amazing how sitting on a different part of the sofa makes the room look so different. I feel like I need more things on the walls. <laughs> These are vibe, aren't they? I didn't realise until I kind of peered, peered over my glasses. didn't realise how bright this red light is. But I feel good. Done my ice bath too. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I had my... Counselling this morning, which went really well. Well, I did my cardio first, then I had my counselling, then I had a PT client, then I trained. Then I came bombing home thinking that I had a call now and it's tomorrow. <laughs> On the plus side, that gives me a bit more time today to go outside because I still haven't had my next meal, so I think I might go outside and have that. Oh! No! <laughs> Appropriate for blemished prone skin as well. So I it's need like a, a dishwasher. Bomb and a stick. I'm imagining it's very easy to. <laughs> Hi, my name is Melanie, and my toxic trait. Are you moving? I was always thinking that I have more time than I do. So remember yesterday I had um, bombed home for my call. Well, said call is now in two minutes. And I have a bit of a headache and ever since I was at the dentist, up until the point of going to the dentist, I felt fine. Ever since I've been at the dentist and he mentioned, he went, oh, have you not got like any pain considering you've got infection in your tooth? Have you not got like any pain or anything like that? And I was like, no, I'm fine. Ever since I've been there, I'm now like, oh, is my face swelling up, like, what's going on? So my Amazon basket is um, filled with teeth care stuff and I now think that I'm going to get when I go back my choice was either get the tooth pulled or get a root canal I'm thinking root canal was the way I know it's a lot more time consuming but I just I just think that's better so this morning to give you a quick update 
Um, did my usual like morning routine that I've created for myself. Helen the cleaner came at um, 10 o'clock. I, I literally do not know like where my time goes. Because for all intents and purposes, I was going to, when she came in, I was going to like, let her in and then I was going to go and do my cardio. Before I knew it, I think I started my cardio maybe about half 11. I had 45 minutes to do. Then I came, I need to go on, let's go. Came home, quickly put on some moisturiser to melt away in the background while I'm on this call. This call is an hour and a half. And then I'm getting my brows done at four. I'm like, wait, wait, where is the time going? <laughs> Hi, Melody. I'm good, how are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to, I'm sharing the screen. Mm -hmm. Because... So I got the boys some new toys. And they're contain... Um... Something called silver. What am I scared of it for? Uh, so yeah, silver vine, which apparently is stronger than catnip. So I got a pack of three little mice, two of which are there. One of them is under Jack's head because he's doped out his face on them. A little um, butterfly, and then this little butterfly, which I'm interested to see what Harry thinks, because on each of the things it says like. So the mice are good for the mouser, so basically that's good for Harry. They're all good for Harry. The butterfly, so the that one is also good for mousers. And then the little butterfly is good for butter, apparently, because it's crinkly. And I also got them this. They'll probably never use this, but all the stuff was like on sale when I was in getting their cat food, so I thought I'd get them some toys. Hey. Nipples. Nipples You're meant to play. <laughs> Do you like my brows, by the way? Ignore my hair. They're a bit um, harsh at the moment because they've just been done, but... I need to eat. Are you ever so tired and you know you need to go to bed but you can't be bothered moving? This is me. It's currently 11.23 and I didn't get half the stuff done that I wanted to do. I've made what felt like 50 million and bum and I actually I'll show you what give me a man centre for getting up someone had ordered two gift boxes <laughs> and I couldn't find a box for them until I found this one I am going to bed now Good morning. Good morning. I 
the brows are browing today. <laughs> I ended up, um, I was so tired last night. And when I got up during the night to go to the toilet, I turned off my alarm. And I ended up sleeping until 8 o'clock. But do you know what? I feel zero regrets. Because that's what it is. It's skincare. It's not the end of the world. It's not life-saving things. So if people have to wait a little bit longer, then that's what's going to happen. So, so far I've done my ice bath. I sat in um, red and did my red light therapy. Which I'm really enjoying doing now at the moment. Um, I organised a courier pickup for the giant box and now I am just going to sort my breakfast out even though well, it's technically brunch because it's 11 o'clock now. Um, and two minds were to... Um, I was meant to be... I was meant to be training... I don't know where to put you. I was meant to be training today. Um, but because I've got so much to do, I was... Because I've also got two PT clients, so originally I was going to train after them. But I'm um, seeing Lee after his work tonight. And my clients are at half four and half five, so I'll get home just before seven. So the other option would have been to train this afternoon before my clients, but it's that way I'm like, I don't want to like rush myself. Um, so what I'm thinking is I might go up and get my car door done and then train tomorrow morning. Oh, I hate being indecisive. <laughs> Alexa, choose a number between one and five. Mm. Here's a number between one and five. It's three. That's the giveaway winner. I have just noticed that Jack is missing half his whiskers. <laughs> this side's fine. This side. Hello. Is now 20 to 8 on Saturday evening and I have spent the majority of the day in the most horrendous like overwhelm procrastination paralysis and I'm actually I can feel myself like on the verge of like an anxiety thing <laughs> I'm just really panicking because I just everything feels too much like I've got like, what did I do today I, I went walked and did my cardio walked back by the time I got back and I'd like been for a shower and everything, it was like, I don't know what time. Um, I had to go and get, because I've got Amy's baby shower tomorrow, so I had to go and get her like present. So I went to like DK Maxx and B&M, and then I went to Tesco. I came back. I had all these like great intentions of, because like, I've got like, over a hundred skincare orders, which is amazing, but I, and my battery's running out. Why? My battery, I'm going through my battery like nothing else. bloody proud of myself. <laughs> I feel like it's been a bit of a slog but we're getting there and it is six to nine days left till the UK DFB. Had I been doing the BNBF I think it would have been about 20 odd days maybe and I just I wouldn't have felt I wouldn't have been physically ready, I wouldn't have been mentally ready, but I'm getting there. I had a bit of a wobble yesterday where I just thought, yesterday was like, I should have known because my weight has dropped this morning. And that usually happens like just before I'm about to drop weight, I kind of, my body, it's like my body's like, I don't want to lose any more weight. And like, I just felt, well, I think you might have could tell in that clip, <laughs> the one clip I did yesterday. Um, I was just really irritable, really like anxious, overwhelmed, like analysis paralysis. Um, yeah. So today, again, I was feeling a bit, not overwhelmed by, but a bit like, how am I going to get anything done? But do you know what? Like 
today, um, this morning, I'm going to pick up my friend Steph, who's been in some of my vlogs before. I've not seen her for months and months and months and months, and we need a serious catch up. Then I am going to Amy's baby shower for a little while, and then I'm spending the rest of the day with Lee. And like you know what my Sundays are like, my Sundays are always manic, so of course I'm thinking to myself, oh my god, like I'm not gonna get anything done, I'm looking at my to-do list. But as I say, it is what it is. No one's gonna die if they don't get their skincare products like immediately. It's fine. So I um I need to get a move on actually, I need to go I don't need to. I want to go and do my ice bath now. Have my breakfast get ready because I'm need to make some sort of effort since I'm actually going out in public. <laughs> um, not too much now. Um, but um, 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 um. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my blood pressure first. I don't think you really need to see this but you can you can see it anyway. I had some really bizarre dreams last night. Like I literally had one really jolt awake out of like panic. I dreamt I was like driving along a motorway and then all of a sudden the the tarmac had just disappeared and it was like a big hole and I was literally going down this hole and then before I hit the bottom I woke up. I wonder why in dreams when you're falling you never experience like hitting the bottom. I never thought of that before. <laughs> and ask any questions, anything goes soon. Yeah, this is for Amy's baby shower. So that's for the baby, and then in the bag, I know you're meant to get its all baby stuff, but Amy's been complaining over really, really tight, like, neck and back. And when I went in the other day, um, like, BB was there, like, massaging her, and I had said that I've got, like, a fairy gun, so my original plan was to drop off my fairy gun, like, the massage gun thing to her to borrow. But then I thought, when I was on TK Maxx, I saw one yesterday, and it was pink. And I thought, win, win. Because Amy had been, like, I said to Amy, I was like, I know baby showers are all about presents for the baby, but is there anything that you want? And she was like, you're the first person that's asked me that. <laughs> so, I found this dude in the card factory, and he was only £5. So I took it as a sign. Skinny food order has arrived. White chocolate peanut butter cups. I can't actually remember what any of these taste like, but some garlic meal. Garlic ketchup. If you can't tell, I like ketchup uh, garlic. <laughs> also like ketchup. Oh, more garlic. Garlic and mushroom. He's on up Halloween. I think we're on to the oh no, tell I there's one more savoury one. Smoky Baconies. Then we've got hazelnut praline. Chocolate hazelnut. Don't know why I bought both of them, but I can go. Salted caramel and vanilla. Honeycomb. And last but not least, toasted marshmallow. Finally got my vlog uploaded. Finally finished some product stuff. What time are we at? Like half eleven. <laughs> That's what I call it. This packaged up. This packaged up. Okay, this, these were done yesterday. We're gonna ignore this mess. And we're just gonna walk out the door. I'm gonna turn the light off. And I am going to sign off and say thank you for watching. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.